Hey friends, Daniel here with Dollar Tape Club. Uh, as you know, we've been sending out the weekly Stay Taped newsletter talking about our blog, updates, anything hockey, anything awesome. And of course, I had to do a video on proper ways or at least best practices for taping your hockey stick. We all know there's unlimited ways to do it, unlimited tape options, but I wanted to give you some of my favorite tips go over some important points and just chat with you guys like we like to do here at Dollar Tape Club every week. So first, let's go over some important points. So, big question, do you go toe to heel or heel to toe? I personally like to go heel to toe because I like to tape my toe, I like to shoot from the top of my stick, I'm an offensive player. But of course, there's a big issue here. When you go heel to toe, your tape overlaps on the back, which means the front of the tape, and I'll show you this after, stays covered. So if you don't flatten out your tape properly, that's when the puck starts to pull up your tape and you can get bad tape mid-game, which really sucks. We all know how that feels. Two, always take your time. Some guys try to rush and they think it's cool to tape your stick fast. Nothing is cooler than just getting some snipes and really having a great tape job. Tape color. Doesn't matter, all per personal preference. Some people think it may, it's harder for the goalie to see black tape. I like black. Go any way you'd like, black or white. Just please don't mess around with crazy colors. Stick to the classics. And last, how much tape? Very important question. Tape gives you grip for the puck and, a lot, and gives you spin. So it's up to you to decide on what style of player you are. Some players like the puck to get to the front of their stick quick, so they, they don't tape the back. You can see players such as Alexander Ovechkin, who leaves the back clear, tapes the top, allows him to get the puck there quick, and take the snipes like he does. So, let's get going. As I mentioned, I go from the heel to the toe. I don't tape all the way to the, I don't tape all the way, my whole entire heel. I start right around here and I always start from the back because I don't want the puck or anything like that messing up my clean tape job. So I start from the back, go around, cover the whole entire starting tape and then depending on the thickness that you like, you can go around 50% overlap to very little overlap. So I go, I don't go 50%, I probably overlap about 25 to 30%. I like my tape tight and not too thick. Of course, nice tight tape as you go around. Make sure it's perfect. Keep it beautiful. So here's a really interesting thing. A lot of people like to tape the toe these days, but it's difficult. Your blade curves, your tape stays square. So what's a proper way to do it? One, you need the tools, the scissors. I know we never remember to bring them on the hockey bag, but somebody in the locker room has them and that guy's gonna let you borrow them. So, you want to soften up the tape, and you're gonna have this leftover stuff, but don't worry about it, make sure the tape is tight. Same here. And then you're gonna have a lot on the top. Don't try to fold the tape, because then you're gonna get a a pretty jacked up tape job. Simply fold it on top and stick through and tear on the top. Don't tear on bottom because then your tape is going to get peeled off. Of course you're going to have all this ugliness here. Nobody likes that. It's going to get in the way. So you got two final steps. If you like to tape your toe, cut off all the leftover tape. And then either grab your wax, a puck, or just your tape and really stick it down. Make sure your tape's not going to come up on you, ruin your tape job in the middle of your game. And I'm back. Sorry about that guys. My camera uh, ended there. But you can see tape job. I'm not sure if it's focusing but it's pretty perfect and steady throughout the whole blade. Of course, as always, send us your emails, send us your feedback. We'd love to hear about how you tape your stick how your team tapes their sticks, what best practices do you guys use to keep playing the greatest game on earth. Thanks guys, stay taped.